Um, move on to item number 10. This is the third amendment to the disposition and development agreement for the Feather River Mill and associated properties. Noyan Properties LP and H-MYC LLC. Also presented by Diana. She might need a drink of water here. Yeah. And I see Mehmet's online or was, he still is. Welcome Mehmet, hopefully we'll hear from you. And go ahead, Diana. Okay. So um, the Feather Mill property is located at the southeast corner of Bridge Street and Shasta Street. It's called Feather Mill because there used to be a business on site that was just Feather Mill. There were other businesses as well. Um, through the years, the city um, has you know, purchased the property through the redevelopment agency and um, did numerous studies to determine what was on site in terms of contamination and found that there was significant contamination on site. Uh, going back to 2010, the redevelopment agency entered into an exclusive negotiating, negotiating agreement with an engineering company for the sale and development of the seven and a half acre parcel of property. Um, through the years, uh, we've done numerous things related to, like I said, determining what was on site, um, working through the unraveling of the redevelopment agency, and in June of 2017, the City Council approved a disposition and development agreement with many properties that included some key components, one being that the property would be purchased for a dollar, as determined by an appraisal completed by Seaver, Jordan, Biedermeyer, and he was approved in the Long Beach Property Management Plan. Um, in January 2018, City Council approved Amendment Number 1 that changed the date for the closing of the property from January 2018 to July 2018. And then in November 2019, Council approved Amendment Number 2, which again changed the date to November 5th, 2020. So over the past few months, there's been a lot of um, movement on the project, and we're at the point that Mr. Nolan is ready to move forward with the remediation of the property. And so in through the discussions with Mr. Nolan, there's been a request for an amendment three to the DDA. So the proposed amendment three includes um, items such as assigning the DDA to a successor developer. And so Mr. Nolan has partnered uh, with another person to develop to create the H NYC LLC of California and Related Company. They're also requesting to change the title company from personal open title to foster title. Uh, they're requesting to remove the bonding requirement. So within the DDA, there's a requirement to provide a surety bond. In talking to Mr. Lynn, and he will be able to discuss more about um, his request, but basically to waive the bonding requirement. Uh, based upon the fact that the city has had a long-standing uh, relationship with Mr. Noyan on this property, he has um, he's working with a reputable local contractor to manage the work. He has acquired a loan for the full cost of the remediation work, and you know there's there's question as to does this set precedence in terms of if other people come forward within the city requesting to waive the surety. This is such a unique piece of property in terms of the contamination and that we have a builder, a developer that's willing to take on that contamination and purchase the property for a dollar. It's not likely that we'll have a similar situation within Yuba City. So I think that this this property could be treated as a unique, um, be treated differently because of the unique set of circumstances. In addition, uh, the addendum would also add a contract manager with certain authorities to provide flexibility is appropriate. This is just so as minor modifications are made, we don't have to continue to bring back uh, addendums. And then there's an updated schedule of performance. And with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions or um, if you'd like to hear from Mr. Noyan first, uh, we could go that direction as well. If anybody has any questions, we can start there. Otherwise, um, Mehmet, if you're interested, I'd love to give you the floor. Let's see, confirming he's here. Oh, there we go. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, welcome, Mehmet. Oh, great, wonderful, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Mayor, members of the council, thank you very much. I appreciate your 
uh, your patience throughout this process. We are at the one yard line. We're ready to start. Uh, we do have a, uh, a general contractor, Gilbert's Incorporated, who has uh, got a subcontractor named Pacific States who are well-versed in doing this re remedial work. Uh, I have signed a contract with Pacific States. Uh, literally, we're ready to start when the, uh, the permits are ready. Uh, we have a, a bank loan from uh, Bank Feather River Local Bank uh, to cover the cost of the remedial work. Uh, I talked to Holiday and Express on probably a weekly basis just to make sure that throughout the pandemic they're still hanging in there. Uh, he is He's almost done with his construction drawings. He'll be submitting those if he hasn't already to the city. And about 30 days after we complete our remedial work, uh, hopefully he'll be able to pull per permit and get started on his hotel. I would also like to point out that uh, I don't know if Kurt Hilpers is on the line. Uh, I have formed an alliance with Hilpers, Hilpers Inc. Uh, they are a partner with me in this project and they will be all the way through and as far as the request to uh, remove the bond i think we're there and it's an accommodation that uh, i think is reasonable to request and we just want to get started thank you thank you much appreciated any comment from council and judy any public comments um, Can I have one? That I'm sorry. I was going to ask one real quick question. Diane, you kind of cut in and out when you were doing the presentation. Was the request to change title companies also listed uh, under the, the business items? Yes, it was. It was. Okay, yes. very good. Thank you. All right, that being said, it's motion time. I'm sorry, Mayor. Um, we did have a comment. Um, it was from Kurt Silvers. He just wanted to let you know that he was listening also, but he does not have a question. And who is that for from? Oh, Kurt? Kurt Hilbert. Kurt Hilbert. Okay, good. Thank you. you. Through the mayor. Yes, sir. I'd like to make a motion to adopt a resolution. Before we go through the motion, can we have a, a discussion? We already asked for discussion. Nobody made a comment. That's why I'm doing this. I was trying to wait for the mayor to. So okay. I, have a, I have a question. Go ahead, Grace. It's okay. Thank you, Mayor. So um, the question I have is um, the, the the project is um, slated to begin when? Ten years ago. I asked I asked um, Mehmet, not you, uh, Council. <laughs> we you we started in 2010. We're we're wait, we're waiting for permits to be able to start the work on the site. So maybe Diana can can speak to that because. Well, no, I was asking yeah. when, when projections to actually get going and building this well the hotel is the first phase as soon as we're done he's obligated to start 30 days after we turn over the property to him begin construction he has uh, construction drawings and he's probably paid two hundred fifty thousand dollars to get done i i don't know if he submitted those to the city yet uh, he has all of his uh, permits plans everything ready to go so uh, the hotel is the first phase of the project and that's about two acres in the back Okay, thank you, Mehmet. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Thank you, Grace. Anything else? Through the mayor, I'd like to try it again. All right, go for it. Okay, adopt a resolution of the city council approving a third amendment to the disposition development agreement with H, NYC, LCC, and Noya Properties LP authorizing the sale development of real property located at the southeast corner of Bridge and Shasta Street, APN 52-342-023 and 52-502-008, and B, as the City Council authorizes the City Manager to approve and sign on behalf of the City, Amendment Number 3, the dis excuse me, Disposition of Development Agreement with Nolan Properties LP with regards to the property located at the southeast corner of Bridge and Shasta Street, to be used for the future development of a mixed use project AMP 52-324-023 and 52-502-008. Second. You got an easier job, Mark. I know. I waited. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, for the record, we are eliminating what used to be item number C on there. So we have a motion to approve A and B all and, and also a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. 
And opposed? Congratulations, Mehmet and Kurt and every and the city of the city. Thank you. One step, one step closer. Yes. Thank you. All right. 